Hello, hello. Today we're talking about wheat. And so a lot of people are saying, hey, wheat's been around forever. Why do you hate it so much? Controversy, let's get it out on the table. Wheat has been around forever, but it got radically changed twice between 1980, 2010. During those years, we started to see some genetic changes occur to wheat. And then we started to see some DNA changes. And then we saw the addition of Roundup, which is now called glycophate into the wheat seed. So if you need more information on this, there's two great books that dive deep into this. One is called Grain Brain, which is written by a neurologist. <clears throat> One is called Wheat Belly, that is written by a cardiologist. And these two books go into very well referenced. So if you need all that information, get those two books. But what we're gonna just briefly touch about is why when people go and get wheat, today's bread, pastas, things of that nature, even if they're getting the organic wheat, if it does not say ancient grain, then you're still getting the new wheat, which is not even compatible with our gut at all. And so when people go to other countries, they're getting the ancient grain. So they find that they can eat the wheat, they can eat the bread, they can eat the pasta, they can eat the pizza with zero problems, but they come back here to the States and they have huge, massive problems. And that's why our country uses the new adulterated wheat. And so one of the best things that you can do for your family is just literally get rid of all of it for about 90 days. Because what we're seeing with, with work on celiacs, who people who cannot eat wheat or they're gonna get colon cancer, guaranteed, is that the inflammation from wheat stays in the system for up to six months. So sometimes when people say, oh, I tried that diet change and that didn't help, and my first question is, how long did you give it? And sometimes it's a week, sometimes it's two weeks, sometimes it's a month, and they, they think that's really good, and that is, but the inflammation is still in your body, which means you're gonna have issues that you may not think that are attributed to the wheat, but they absolutely are. So one of the best things that you can do is get rid of it in your diet completely, because what we need to make sure is this congestion you think it's sinuses could be wheat. This belly upset that you think is, mm, I don't know what, could be wheat. So get rid of it, see how you do, reintroduce it, and find out, do you lose your brain? <clears throat> That's mine, I go a little walk -a doodle I am not fun to be around when I'm on wheat. Does your colon give out, and so all of a sudden you run into the bathroom? Does your skin break out? Do you feel sluggish and horrible? Do you get the brain fog? Do you shut down? All of those are showing you that your body does not like, does not want, and is actually being hurt by the wheat. I invite you to check it out. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.